Hello everybody, today I will be upgrading the 1366 by 768 LCD on this HP EliteBook 840G4 uh, with a nice 1080p IPS Full HD display. I'm starting by just removing the 10 screws plus the hidden screw under the SD card cover that hold the bottom case on. Next, I will be removing the battery. It's very important to disconnect the battery so that you don't short out any components when you replace the LCD. Next, I am working around the screen fascia just to remove and disengage all the little plastic clips and adhesive that hold it on. It is very important to take your time at this stage because these clips are quite fragile and if you get too forceful, you will break the plastic fascia that covers the screen. Once all the clips are disengaged, you can use your guitar pick and just go around the edges and, and break through the adhesive. Take your time at the bottom. The adhesive is a little bit stronger here, and if you pry too hard, you'll damage the inverter board. Um, if you want to reuse the screen at all, um, you'll just want to take your time on this step. So removal really should just be these four screws. This particular LCD panel has a plastic piece that's just holding the LVDS connector in place. I'm just taking my time to pry that off, taking care not to damage any of the small wires inside the LVDS cable. This is our new screen. Let's just make sure that the brackets line up because they should. Just gotta reattach and then we should be good to go. Give it a test fire. Oh no. I'm just doing some troubleshooting here, double checking my connections, making sure the LVDS cable is well connected and not kinked. Hopefully it's not a bad display. Oh good, it was just a cable issue. So 
the screen looks good. No obvious dead pixels or anything. Just gonna shut it down. Reassembly is pretty straightforward. Just put the four Phillips head screws back in that hold the LCD panel and snap the fascia back into place and then you're done. So doing one last check here after reassembly and it looks like there might still be an issue so I'm just going to have to get in touch with the vendor and see what they can do about replacing it. Thanks for watching.